Alright! Oh, you're awesome! Holy oh, oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. Alright guys, greetings and welcome to the very first live show in New York, probably the only one that actually dips into your life and try to interrogate every bone in your body. This is The People Want to Know. You, you want to know, right? You want to know? We all want to know, right? Yeah, I am your host, Wes. The beautiful, the great, the one and only. So, I'll be here with you all night tonight and we will be enjoying ourselves in the... Are, are you guys ready? Yeah. All right, that's what I'm talking about. All right, so... Today, we have a very special guest with us. Some may know him for his YouTube content. Some may know him for his Instagram pictures. Especially the ones that, you know, has absolutely no shirts at all, right? <laughs> Some may know him as Fat Man. Some know him as that black guy. <laughs> Some know him as that dark chocolate. <laughs> and for the ladies, he's sometimes referred to as <laughs> Daddy. However, tonight we will most definitely not be calling him Daddy. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for the one, the only, the icon, Hits West! The man himself. How, tell me, tell me, how does it feel to be on this show for the first time? Nah, I like still, it's a good piece of feeling, man, because, you know, I never get up on a show like this before, you know. I'm growing up still, you know, when I was younger, you know. Okay, I don't really care. So, tonight we'll be asking this lovely gentleman a series of questions. These questions originated from our WhatsApp line and also from our Instagram. Some of them are hot, some of them are spicy. Some of them are soft, some of them are emotional. But tonight, guess what? The people want to know and that's what they're going to know about today. So, Mr. West. Can I call you Wes? Oh, I'm going to call you Wes. <laughs> of course. Oh, that's not my name. Twins, right? Yeah, so. Are you ready? Man, I was born ready. I you don't see ready. Yeah, are you ready? ready? Is, is he ready, guys? Is, is he ready? Yes, you are ready. Uh, so, so hold, hold that game and work. Hold, hold this word. All your questions will magically appear right behind uh -huh. us. So tell me, which one do you want first? The WhatsApp questions <laughs> or the Instagram? Tell us which one. I mean... WhatsApp kind of festive when it really still know. <laughs> so, I think I'll choose WhatsApp. All right, so Instagram it is. So we're gonna start with our Instagram questions. They're gonna be hot, they're gonna be spicy. So if you're watching this live stream right now, I want you to go in the comment sections and ask your questions, As ask away. Ask any questions you wanna ask, and guess what? It will appear right here and we will answer all your questions. Are you ready for those spicy questions? Yes, you are. Long time. So, if you are ready, <laughs> put your hands together one more time for this amazing guy. Oh, yes. Too nice. Too nice. Yes, stop it. Give us that. So now for Instagram questions. Let's go. What's your worst fear? Falling. Me, me no wanna drop. Me, no sir. Like if I'm running or or, or anything like that, I don't wanna fall. I cannot. Cannot afford to. Cause if I fall, I might damage my face and <laughs> can't be tainting this beautiful face now. <laughs> no, really. Interesting. Moving on. So, what's your biggest achievement currently? My biggest achievement? You know, I'd say that could possibly be being able to, you know, as a YouTuber, upgrade my content, you know, to, to do something more with my, my creativity, you know, to, to, you know, to get to a different level. You know, I got a new lighting set. And then I got a new green screen, you know. I think I even look at a green screen, sir. Interesting. <laughs> we know you like soca, ladies. We, we've seen his waistline, right? <laughs> so, my question to you is, what is your go-to soca song? Hands down, my go-to song for this year. Yeah, man. No Tomorrow by Kerwin. Oh, that song is fire. Trust me, man. Nice. Do you, do you know it? I, I don't know it. No. Anyways, what is the best prank you've ever done man you're bringing me back in time okay so the best prank that i've ever done was where me and and matthew we you know that you remember that that the proposal prank where that guy you we decided to um you know go on one knee and propose to the girl really yeah I think that the, what made it the best prank is just uh -huh. that you know it, okay it, 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 next question why we don't talk anymore as we used to i mean <laughs> Ah, uh, 
That one is tough, man. Are you dodging people now, Wes? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this man is dodging people. <laughs> he doesn't want to talk to them. <laughs> He's not talking to them anymore. I wonder why. Please, tell us. Why are we not speaking to this wonderful individual? Hmm, tell us. Honestly, though, I'm normally busy. If I'm not recording a video or editing something or I'm at work, I'm sleeping. And it's, I'm just a horrible texter sometimes. But, you know, um, you know, sometimes I spend some time and, you know, and text with... It's, it's, I've been really busy a lot lately. Honestly, I really have been, you know. Your excuse is weak. It is very weak, like a sex game. All right. Wait, what? Huh? No, what did you just say? Oh, nothing. Did you hear anything? No, you did not. No, I heard anything. Moving right along. Bro, when you go stop playing with my heart. I think this is um, just urban patois. So let me translate. When are you gonna stop playing with my heart? Please, tell us when. When will you, Wes? I don't play, I play, no. Is this type of man he is? Is this the man that we are we're talking to right here? Playing with hearts? Is this, is, is this the person that we're speaking to? Wow. What are you, you play football with someone's heart? You play, you play dodgeball? No, I don't play dodgeball. I don't play any form of ball with anybody's heart, man. It's just that... But what do you do? But just know what? You should be ashamed of yourself. <sighs> Moving on! Bro, whose side are you on? What made you want to start making YouTube videos? What inspired Was you? Was that you're broke? No. You thought they could make money? No. What is it? Were you bored? Bro, tell me. Thank you. I just realized that, you know, all my creativity and my entertaining personality, I just really wanted to put it out there, you know? I wanted to make people happy because, like, the one thing I really love doing making people happy. Mm -hmm. And if my videos can make people laugh or I want to smile or something, then hey, YouTube. Mm. It's your boy, Wes. <laughs> oh, this sounds genuine. <laughs> Moving on. Oh, this one's a pretty interesting question. So, let me just put the question on the board. Why are you scared to tell me the question? Uh, right here. <laughs> just read it. Okay. Hmm. Uh, mm. Oh. Mm. Mm. oh. The people want to know your penis length. Um. What is it? Wow. Ugh. Mm. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> mm. I mean, I've been told, you know. Mm. <laughs> it's, you know, it's, you know. <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm talking about? Ah, your girl's stopping, you know? <laughs> mm. 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 What? Moving right along! Mm. The last question from our Instagram viewers When you all plan to come back to Jamaica? Which means, when exactly do you plan to return to your home country? Oh, um. Hmm. Mm. The people want to know. Am I right? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> it's funny you ask me that. <laughs> uh, hmm. Hmm. Could we skip that one? Um, yeah. Could something yeah. doesn't sound right now. It doesn't sound right Ooh. at all. It is the perfect time to go for a break. So when we come back, we will start talking about those WhatsApp questions. I can tell they're going to be spicy, they're going to be hot, and you cannot miss it. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. If you have any questions, go in the comment section right now. And remember, please, to like, share, and subscribe. All right? So let's go for a break. We will come back with The People Want to Know. <laughs> For every one part rice you have, you need two parts water. It's as simple as that. Who? Why you measure water with cup? Just use finger, finger. You put rice, put water, onto finger. First joint, first joint the finger. That's how you measure the water, not with British tea cup. Hiya. First step all wrong already. I am not confident this video is going to be good. Enough rice for around two people. So now the rice is on. Wait, so you don't wash the rice? How you don't wash the rice? Just cook the rice, not the rice stinky like you. Where you learn how to make rice? Hey, rice. We are looking good. The rice not looking good, you lying to people.
So wet. Drain it. Drain. What's she doing? What's she doing? Drain the. Oh my God! You killing me, woman! Hiya! Drain the. She. The rice. She draining rice with colander. Hi. How can you drain rice with colander? This is not pasta. I never seen anyone drain rice. If your rice too wet, you fucked up. Don't bring colander into your rice cooking. Hiya. Get a nice rice cooker. Don't mess with saucepan like this lady here. Don't mess with colander. If your rice too wet, you recook the rice. No way to save wet rice. Has quite a lot of starch in it, which will make what it. What the? What the hell? What the hell? Uncle Roger is so upset. I put my leg down from chair. Why are you running water through? <laughs> You ruining the rice first. You use colander to dry the rice, and then you put water. Then why bother drying the rice? Who cook rice like this? How did this woman get on BBC? Guys, the vibes in the studio. It is hot. I'm loving this truck. I love all of y'all. Trust me, not this one. But let's go. Welcome back, guys. Now we're gonna go into the WhatsApp line. So we're gonna start off with a regular question. You know, basic stuff. Then. Not too spicy, right? And then we're gonna go into the spicy section. Right, so, are you ready? I don't care if you're ready or not because the people want to know. Let's go. All right, so, Wes, what's your dream job? What is my dream job? To be honest though, I actually want to be where you are, you know? You know, hosting TV shows and stuff. Mm. Yeah, that's something I wanna do, you know, when I grow up. Um, there's also the fact that I want to take acting seriously and the fact that okay. um, yeah. mm, all right. Out of all the soca songs in the world, name your top three. Now that's an unfair question because I love all soca. <laughs> I love all soca songs. But if I was to choose, I would choose No Tomorrow by Curling, One Drop by Umpa, and uh, Big Bad Soca. Okay, I, I don't really care, but uh, <laughs> so the people want to know, do you own a shirt? I own, I own lots of shirts, come on. The producers gave me that one, so don't try to flex. I mean, you're always on Instagram, on YouTube, and all your videos, and you're and, and, and even in parties, or, or you, you call them fets, right? Mm -hmm. I don't see the difference. Well, you call them fets, and, and you're never wearing a shirt, why? Do you own a shirt? It just happens to disappear when I'm out. Like it just psh, gone. I, I don't know what happens. I go into a fit with a shirt and I leave without a shirt. I, I blame it on the room. Well, guess what? We have a surprise for you. Yes, we do. Yes, we do. Yes, we do. Where are you going? So now? what's going to happen is we, myself and the producers, right, decided that we are going to start a Get With A Shirt Foundation. Right, thank you. Thank you very much, guys. I, I'm very nice. I am the nicest host ever, right? And we're going to make sure that all the shirts you can possibly have will be given to you. What? Yes. 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 Good. Right. Very nice. Moving on. Thank you. Such a lifesaver. Do you have any supernatural abilities? Do I have any supernatural abilities? <laughs> well, there's a thing that I call the round of applause, right? Where, you know, the speed is quite... I think you know what I'm talking about. The speed is quite unnatural, you know? So, some persons will just... I think you know, I think you know what I'm talking about, right? What are you but doing? What, my what super natural powers. What, what's this? You know. You know. Oh, you're you fast. Know. You know. And trust me, that's not in the hands. It's in the waistline. Right. <laughs> right. Trust me, sir. <laughs> Say what? Is that what you heard? <laughs> the people want to know. Is that true? No. Nobody, nobody ever tell you that. Nobody ever tell you that. Disrespectful, like. All right. We should have you on the show next because you're gonna tell us about that story. Yes. <laughs> All right. Moving right along, Mister <laughs> Bust Quick. Okay. <laughs> Would you be okay if your girlfriend makes three times as much money as you? If my woman is making some mad money, more than me. 
and I'm just making, say she makes 500,000 US a month and I only make 250 US a month. Mm. Honestly still, I mean, that just mean I can get that PS5 even quicker. <laughs> you know what I mean? Oh, yes. Whoop. Well, I'm kidding. Oh, all right. Um, Ambitious there, all right. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Name three persons you have a crush on, but they probably have a man or they're just out of your league. Name them. Three persons. Well, psh, ain't no girl out of my league, first of all. Okay, I'm making that quite clear. None of y'all out of my league. Get me? And I mean, bad man don't have any crushes still. I don't, I don't do crushes. I don't do that crush thing. <laughs> well, based on our research on your social media, we, we recognize that some of your friends can identify three just off the bat. Say, what? Wait, wait, wait. Now, these three persons are as follows. Oh, you ready, Liam? Look at the screen. Jesus Christ, oh my God. Right, so the first person is oh, Petura. Mm -hmm. That, my friend, is Petura. Mm. Yes, sir. Yes. A whole meal. Breakfast, lunch, and... Oh, we've heard what you, we've thought of her. Mm. Right. The second person is, of course, the great Kimberly. Jesus! There is a God. Bro, where did you find these girls? How did you know how, how did you know I had a crush on Kimberly? So you didn't remember about this oh Kimberly at all? Mm. And how she did your makeup so amazingly? Bro, I was in a movie one time and she did my makeup. Trust me, sir. I feel like she didn't make up my face, she make up my heart. She put her brush from my heart and just tickle it a little bit, you know? From that from that day, man. Mm. Bro, have you seen her smile? Jesus! Yes! Yes! Yes. Yeah. You didn't remember anything about your crush on her? Kids and stuff? Mm. Oh. You. you know too much, sir. You know too much. Ladies and gentlemen, there's a, a short burst of amnesia in the room. <laughs> and the last and final person, of course, we've all we've heard this on his live streams on not on Instagram, of course. Uh, the last person that we know of is the great Paige. Mm. The very first time I laid my eyes on you. Oh, you're turning a new leaf, huh? Get it? Because it's a page. <laughs> right. Mm -hmm. I said, you know, all she was doing was taking out the garbage. She took the trash out. Mm. Mm -hmm. Oh, we, we know the story. I, I've never seen a girl model to take the trash out and model her way back. Boy? Damn. This girl have a piece of face that. Mm. 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 Baby, what is your ring size? I want your ring size. No! Alright, sorry, sorry, sorry. Alright, so yes, you get a tree. If you could find out the truth about only one question about your life, what would you ask? You know, growing up, I didn't really grow up with a father, you know? Oh my god, wow, are you serious? It's just a case where... It... This is the emotional segment, guys. This is the emotional segment. Get ready. Mm -hmm. You know, it was just a mom alone, you know, struggling, you know. It was hard for me, you know. It was, it was a very emotional time. Just you? you? Know? No, it's, it's, it's okay. It's no? okay. okay. Um, it was a very emotional time, but uh, it, it's just, it's just you when know, you have to do what you have to do, mm. you know. Um, they always say, um, you know, Jamaican fathers, you know, don't exist because they're always leaving their kids and... I mean, it's just, it's true, you know, it's, it's a reality, mm. and um, it's, it, it, it is what it is, you know. It's, I understand. Yeah, it's, yeah. <sighs> Before we go any further, we have a caller. Yes, the show, we take live calls as well. We have a caller all the way from Jamaica. I'm seeing the 876, so I know it's from Jamaica. Caller, what's your name and where are you from in Jamaica? Hello, hi. Yes, sir. This is mom from Spanish Town. Listen, that little boy beside of you need to come off of your show right now and stop tell lie. Mommy? Yes, Ooh. is your mother. Oh, you mean for company people them big, big show come saying I'm a father. You see you? Uh, you is one ungrateful well, little mommy, boy. I'm... 
A little joke, my mums. Oh, you like my joke? Mr. Horse? Yes. Give me two minutes. Let me set the little boy straight now, please. Carlo, go ahead, go ahead. Back to you now, Mr. Sir. Where your father this okay, year to? Eh? A little joke, my mums. Let me take up now what list man I'm alive. Mommy, I joke, eh? I joke, I joke, me, I make a team with the problem, I'm just build Come, honey. Come talk to your son. Because it's because him tell what? me so if you build, Miss clearly a but, construction no, worker. Jesus. So you know what? We are going to the car and go build the manners we are supposed to Jesus. have. Let you don't have me. no manners at all. Thank you. Oh Wesley, my God. Stephen, Hilton. Mr. Hilton. Are you in your right mind, young man? <sighs> yes, yes, sir. Who are you calling, sir? What is a sir? Yeah. Yes, sir. Is that your counterpart to do? Telling lie and lie television? No, no, sir, no, sir. It was, a, it was just, just a joke, sir. Joke? Just a joke. joke? Mr. Hilton, it's just it's a, a joke. joke, sir. We never in your life. No, man, you've been there, man. You've been there from from the what from from a band till now. Yes, sir. You never left me. Mm -mm. I want to know mm. where I was when you pissed mm -mm. up your bed at mm -mm. night time. Did I disappear? No. You mm. don't remember when you doodled up yourself at school? Big, big, eighteen-year-old boy. Me have to bring fresh yes. beef mm -hmm. coming to you. Boy, if I ever take something, a ball, a ball. I'm not crying, sir. I, I am not. I am not crying. Mm -mm. Mm. Tapi balling. Yes, we never yes, sir. Never ball for yet. Both you tell your mother for bill. No man has a respect. You try bill once, clean ticket and go over my yard. Mm, understood. You think you're too big to get beaten? Eh? What me say about the balling? Book your flight now. Yes, sir. I, 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 I am coming. You are what? Sorry, sorry, Mr. Elton. Out of order. But forward. You what? You think me and you I am tight. on my way, sir. On your way? Mm-hmm. Make sure you reach home before prime time you start. Such lovely people. Right. Anything else about your missing father? You couldn't tell him to appear to watch. Hmm? Moving right along. So, before we get to the spicy section, we're going to jump into a break real quick, and we'll be back. So, sit back, relax, grab some popcorn, grab somebody else's chips or something, and steal some food right now. Because we are going to be back with the spicy questions that you want to know. So, what's the name of the show? Tell me again. T Wes, tell the camera. What's the name of the show? The people want to The people know. want to know. So, we'll be right back. Sit back and relax. Applause, thank you very much. I love you, I love you, I love you too. You can see that uh, big dip, uh, big dip, that uh, U shape here. That's that area of low pressure that's going to be moving in. So we've got the Welcome back, and if you're just tuning in, you got, you actually reached the spicy section with our wonderful guest, Hits Wes. Yes, look at him, shitting himself with these questions. All right, so. The spicy section is ready. Are you ready? I'm Do ready. Need some water before we start. No, I don't need any water. I warned him. Just remember, I warned you. All right. So, okay. The first question is, why are you single? Are you single? Single? Wait, we're single? What, what is this? What is this? What is this? Pipe water? Wow. Mm. Moving on. Does a woman's body count bother you? Personally, I don't judge. So if my girlfriend comes to me and tells me all her sex stories and all her sex stories are probably more than both our ages combined, I'm not going to judge her for it. You know, it's, it, it is what it is. You know, that's, that, that's her past and I am now her present. So if she's not, you know, deciding to add more bodies to her count while I'm with her, then uh, why should it bother me? I'm not trying to call her a whore or anything, because if it was a guy, you know, you'd hear how much, oh, she's smashing so many bodies, that's okay. But once a girl, oh my God, she's a hoe. 
nah, I'm not like that. No, I'm not. I'm not like that. Mm -hmm. What is your body count? What? How much? How many? How? How? What is it? You ask. Oh. See, this is why I love my production team. <laughs> Thank you so very much. Yes, as you were saying, the people do want to know. Mm -hmm. oh, it's a, oh, it's a question for me. Oh. Hmm. Mm. Okay, I'll skip. Oh, yeah. Next question. What's your sex rating? Is it high? What is my sex rating? Um. So a sex rating for the persons who are on Claire is sex rating is pretty much uh, you rating your sex. Is your sex good? It's X rated. I <laughs> get it. Uh, no, yeah. You didn't get it, did you? No, no, you didn't. All right. On a scale of one to ten, how much is your sex rating? Tell me. Uh, I'm. Uh, I don't. I'm not the type of guy to show off and be like, I have the best sex ever. But um, I'd say it's a solid eight. You know, it's an eight. Eight point one. Eight. Yeah, around that. Pretty much. Of course. That's not what we heard. Excuse me. What? What, what, what do you mean? What, no, what nothing! Moving on! Alright, so... What's the best compliment you've ever received? Best compliment? <laughs> Apart from my chocolatey skin? I, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Uh... Well, we have somebody commenting live right now and they actually believe that your smile is your best compliment. Ooh. <laughs> oh, so Stop it. Ooh, ooh, we have more comments. Ooh. Ooh, we have more comments. Let's take a look. Who is this? Bless you have a fan. <laughs> Would you look at that? Hey person, what's good? <laughs> if you can make one new law that everyone had to follow, what would it be and why? One law? <sighs> Wait, which camera which camera am I looking at right now? Right, right, oh right there. Okay. The one law. I would make as King Wes is that girls don't talk shit before they have sex because many girls they have a very bad habit of saying oh my god like I could destroy your dick daddy and I could do this I could do that and like oh my god like I can handle anything oh my god I can take back shots so good I can ride oh my god I can take it all the way down here not here here in my lungs in my lungs then when they actually show up to receive the penis you know what happens all those things that she mentioned the only thing you remember her doing was laying on her back and barely taking it Oh, oh God. <laughs> Baby girl, it was just the head. It wasn't even the full thing. Where is that energy that you had? Oh, I can handle big dicks. So, if I was to make a rule that everyone had to follow, it's stop talking shit. Oh, men, you too, bro, because you, you, you definitely talk some shit, but... <laughs> I could tear the ass up. Yeah. You know, I got this. This this dick will change your life. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I, I can make you squirt. Oi! If you know you can't do it, do not. And I repeat, do not bring up her whoops because she, I can just dead it. Leg wide open, waiting. Where is this squirt that you mentioned you couldn't make my vagina do? Where is it? I can't find it. And then you, sir, make it hard for the whole of we other brothers. Because she has said, oh, all you guys do is just have lots of talk. So, my rule is, stop talking shit. All right? Yes, yes, that's my rule. I mean, I, I'd follow it, right? You'd follow it, would you? You'd follow it. Yes, we would. We would follow you, sir, King West. Of course, of course, sir, of course. All right, great, moving on. How do you like your vaginas? 
How do I like my vaginas? Um, do you like it mild, wait, hot, wait, what? spicy, whoa. sweet, or whoa, whoa, sour, whoa, whoa, whoa. tangy, whoa, medium, what kind of rare, this? or raw? What? Oh, my apologies. I was reading a menu. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> wow. So, right. How exactly do you like your vaginas? It's, it's not... No. Well, to answer your question, um, none of that. Oh, no. I, 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 I like... I like my vaginas naturally grown in between the legs from birth. Moving on! Can vaginas be tiny? You know what? I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. These are the bonus questions now. Now these questions were given to us at last minute. So let us go. Firstly, Wes. Where I come with now? Where I come with? Do you or do you not have an OnlyFans account? I want to know how that come up. Nobody asks that. It's the, bo it's the bonus round. The questions are that, that's not even the 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 There it is. Oh, wow. So answer the question. Do you or do you not have an OnlyFans account? Well. Um. Yeah, you know what? You want to know too much. You want to know too much, sir. Mm -mm, move on. Look at the time. Yeah. Show needs for end now. <laughs> of course. Anyways, my questions have ended, and if you have any more, and you want to hear more from this lovely individual right here, yes, you are so amazing. Oh, no, 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 no fist bump, no, nothing. Oops, it's fine with me. All right, so it is time to end the show, but if you do like what you see and you love this wonderful guest, you can easily give me a comment in the comment section and let me know what do you want to hear about this wonderful and so attractively chocolatey individual. Yes, he paid me to say that. But anyways, you have been amazing. You have been amazing. You have been amazing. You all have been so awesome. And you, you have been so amazing. Yes. So. I love seeing you watching me on this wonderful channel. So, do what you know every YouTuber tells you to do. Like, share, and subscribe, and make sure you enjoy yourself. Do you have anything to say before we go? Yo, in my defense, this whole show is a setup. No, so, it is your boy Wes. Thanks for watching this show. Big up yourself. See you again. Boom.